afternoon, thank you friends for the media. Thank you very much for coming over on short notice. And with us uh, this afternoon is uh, Secretary of Foreign Affairs, Albert F. Lunosario, and uh, Philippine Navy Admiral Alexander Bama, and uh, Philippine Coast Guard Commander Admiral Edmond Kahn. The Secretary of Foreign Affairs, Secretary Lunosario, will now give this opening statement on the incident at Manakal or Scarborough Show. <laughs> uh, good afternoon. I have the distinct privilege of uh, being with uh, two uh, very distinguished uh, gentlemen today, persons of uh, the Chief of the Philippine Navy, uh, Vice Admiral uh, Alexander Pama, and uh, also, uh, the, uh, I have with me the Commandant of the uh, Coast Guard, uh, Vice Admiral. Mm -hmm. uh, today, uh, we want to uh, share with you uh, an issue, a live issue uh, on the Scarborough Show, uh, which we are uh, trying to deal with on the uh, diplomatic basis, and uh, we're confident that uh, we will be able to do this. Uh, in coordination with uh, uh, the heads of uh, the Philippine Navy and Coast Guard, uh, we coordinated uh, early this morning to be able to come up with a situation of, as to what exactly had happened there and what the uh, current status was, and uh, we had uh, placed this on the EFA website. So I trust that uh, you all have uh, seen that. Uh, prior to uh, that posting, uh, I did have uh, some, fo some phone calls that I received from uh, Ambassador Ma of uh, China. And uh, we had uh, a brief conversation uh, in uh, the midst of uh, being with uh, the Emir of uh, Qatar, who was here for a state visit. Uh, I mentioned to uh, the ambassador that uh, uh, I'd like to invite her to come to the uh, EFA today, and which she did, uh, and we had a uh, very good conversation at 11.30. Uh, essentially, uh, I'd like to share with you uh, my talking points with her, uh, five or six uh, talking points. Uh, I made it clear that uh, the Scarborough show uh, is an integral part in the Philippines, that it is in fact uh, 124 nautical miles from St. Valles. And it's uh, well within the 200 nautical miles of the Philippines uh, exclusive economic zone and continental shelf. <coughs> Secondly, uh, I also made it a point to say that the Chinese fishermen were evidenced to have been engaged in illegal fishing and harvesting of endangered marine species. Thirdly, uh, I also made it a point that the Philippine Navy was there to enforce our laws. In doing so, they followed established rules of engagement, including strict observance of human rights. Fourthly, under international law, I stress that, and this specifically includes UNCLOS, it was stressed that we have sovereignty and sovereign rights over Scarborough Show. And finally, I mentioned that if the Philippines is challenged, we are prepared to secure our sovereignty. And in closing the meeting, uh, we issued a, a diplomatic protest. 
the ambassador of China uh, took the view that they have full sovereignty over the scars of the show. So, in a sense, uh, we have reached an impasse in terms of our positions. And so, there's a real challenge for us uh, in terms of uh, our agreement to have to keep on talking today. And uh, we, we resolve to uh, seek a diplomatic solution to the issue. Yeah, uh, may I invite uh, Admiral Lafama to say something? <coughs> Thank you very much, Mr. President. Uh, this morning, uh, I'm privileged to uh, share with uh, the public the, the events um, that led to uh, the present uh, situation in Scarborough Show. And if I may be allowed to read uh, the prepared statement that we have, um, more or less in context of the chronology of events that led uh, to the present situation. Uh, on or about uh, 8 um, April, uh, 6.30 in the morning of 8 April, a Philippine Navy aircraft uh, on a routine maritime patrol report reported the presence of eight unidentified foreign vessels in the vicinity of Panatan, or commonly known uh, internationally known as Cargo Show. In response to the report, and while the Epic Gregorio del Pilar was en route to the northern part of the zone as part of the country's contingency, contingency measures relative to the impending um, North Korea's rocket launch, the Epic team was tasked to verify the reported presence or intrusions of uh, illegal activities in set of set foreign vessels in Panatachor. By uh, 3.26, in the morning of April 10, a PF-15 reached the vicinity of Panatag Show and confirmed the presence of eight Chinese fishing vessels anchored in the lagoon inside the show. In accordance with established rules of engagements for our units in Panatag area, PF-15 sent a boarding team to inspect the said Chinese fishing vessels. And at about 7.20 in the morning, the boarding team started to conduct a basic board search and seizure around on first Chinese fishing vessel and found large amounts of corals, sizable quantities of giant clams, and live sharks in its compartments. All the other Chinese fishing vessels were subsequently boarded in that they all yielded assorted endangered species, corals, live sharks, and other marine endangered um, species. The conduct of the VDSS was terminated at about 2.20 in the afternoon and preparations were undertaken for the implementation of appropriate actions in accordance with our laws. Two hours after the board and search procedures were conducted, two Chinese maritime surveillance vessels identified as Zhongguo Haijian 75 and Zhongguo Haijian 84 suddenly appeared moving towards the shoal and after a series of evasive maneuvers were able to position themselves between the um, the El Pilar and the, and the earlier border Chinese fishing vessels. The two Chinese maritime surveillance vessels established contact with um, Gregorio del Pilar utilizing the marine band frequency and advised Gregorio del Pilar to leave the area and asserting that the F-15 or the Pilar is intruding into China's territory. In response, the captain of the Gorilla Pilar also advised the Chinese maritime surveillance vessels that the area is not part of Chinese territory, but is well within the Philippines' 200 nautical miles exclusive and economic zone, and is in fact 124 miles from the Zambales. This resulted to the standoff, which is still ongoing even since The Initial results of the DDSS conducted, on the other hand, other than basically endangered by species, corals, live sharks, and giant plants, shows that the eight fishing vessels are all manned by Chinese nationals from Hainan, China. Their presence inside the shore is to collect corals 
utilizing small boats without triggers manned with divers and compressors. And the system is to fill every vessel with the collected corals and gear, and the filled up vessels depart from, um, from the point of origin. And it is, it is a delivery activity with existence of other equipment purposely to perform their illegal fishing activities and poaching in our maritime waters. <clears throat> On the basis of this, the Navy, as of the present, and the whole force of the Philippines will continue to perform its mandated task, and in this case, in accordance with our maritime laws, in particular area of Panatakshu. This ends my statement. Mr. Secretary. <clears throat> Yes, sir, I'm thank you. For our part, uh, we have a statement of the UTC to make the duty of the agency. And as per guidance from our speaker, Maromas, this is the statement of the UTC. This matter has international implications, and so the we will issue the specialist on the matter. But, uh, this we have to tell you the facts. The Philippine Coast Guard is a civilian organization <coughs> and will be sending immediately a press and rescue vessel to monitor the situation in the area and also basically to show our flight and show our presence. As you know, the location of the situation or the incident is in the show. And this is about 100 miles from the post of balance, that's clearly this is within the 200 political mile EEC of the Philippines as provided for four by eight Congress. And so it's very clear that uh, the district has just mentioned uh, violated some using laws by virtue of the photos shown that we have their plans, uh, morals uh, aboard the district vessel. And we said that uh, we will defer to the DFA for the issuance of the <coughs> partner statement for the market. Yeah, we are now ready to answer uh, some of your questions. Um, but, uh, before you ask. Secretary, you said that you will settle this in a diplomatic manner. Does that mean we will not insist on arresting the fishermen within Scarborough Shores? Uh, we're at this point <coughs> examining all of our options, and uh, <coughs> I would like to reserve comment on that uh, and respond to, to your question at a later date. Yes, uh, about the Coast Guard ship that was being sent there, is, it, is the ship there already? Okay, it's on the way. What, when do we expect the... Good morning, daybreak, 7. So basically, Del Pilar is on its own. Sir, microphone. Sir, right now, Del Pilar is on its own until the Coast Guard should get there. And if they try to run off, basically, we won't be able to do anything. Our role is just to be there to show our presence and to show our Yes. Good afternoon, Sir Dario of Motor from Kyoto News. The Chinese Embassy has issued a statement saying that there were actually 12 fishing uh, vessels in the area. But in the Philippine uh, statement says 8. What, what exactly is it? What, what is the exact figure? There are 8 Chinese fishing vessels uh, inside the lagoon. Now we should inspect it uh, by the Philippine Navy. And as of last verification, we have still eight of those Chinese fishing vessels uh, in uh, Scarlet Show. So the four others, where, where are they? I, I mean, we obviously we didn't see them? No. Um, in, in fact, um, the, there's one other Philippine uh, boat uh, in there. And uh, if I'm not mistaken, based on the reports that were given, uh, there were other outriggers out there, uh, which are presumably our uh, Philippine um, uh, fishermen seeking shelter. Okay, we'll go to the side first. Yeah. 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 
Not necessarily preparations are being undertaken, but I cannot specify exactly. Uh, I would not want to tell you what the actions that we're going to do. Never bought. No, uh, the situation right now is uh, the fishing boats are inside the lagoon of the, the shoal. And um, the uh, two Chinese maritime uh, marine surveillance vessels are stationed about um, a couple of miles from the mouth. Uh, the only uh, yeah, um, ingress, uh, ingress of the shoal and the uh, Delfila is uh, stationed uh, nearby in that vicinity also. The board teams already aboard the Delfila since yesterday. Point to me, we have one ship there, two um, against two Chinese vessels, our maritime vessels. So can you describe to us what type of vessels are these marine surveillance of China? Uh, the we we have um, pictures of those two. I will be permission the secretary. We have hard copies uh, pictures of these two vessels. As I mentioned earlier, the names of which, and they look. Not the look, but these are the two vessels of the we are the Department of uh, Foreign Affairs. To the Department of Foreign Affairs, we will be providing you a copy of this. The, the, uh, the, main, the main difference is uh, the color of uh, the ships. The CMS color of color, the Kulai. The CMS uh, vessels are colored white with these uh, blue stripes. Okay. They're both military vessels, or is one military and one civilian? The CMS is uh, ostensibly a civilian uh, uh, vessel, but the government civilian vessels. Yeah, and the, the, the navy vessels are um, internationally international gray in color. International gray. It's gray in color. Para kung ano ba ko na tayo? Uh, I think that uh, our claim uh, to uh, sovereignty in the uh, Scarborough show is, uh, is supported by the UCLOS. The, the international law is clear in terms of uh, the fact that uh, we are well within the 200 uh, nautical mile exclusive economic zone and uh, also uh, within the continental shelf of, of uh, the Philippines. Uh, that is where we stand. Uh, China stands on a uh, on an historical claim. Uh, which we have been taking the view that their claim is, is does not have basis. It's not supported by us. And so uh, we are uh, standing firm uh, in terms of our position. Uh, we're standing firm in terms of our sovereignty and sovereign rights in the area. And uh, as I said, uh, we will examine the various alternatives that we have uh, in pursuing a diplomatic solution uh, and uh, it would not uh, be constructive for me to discuss this with you at this time. And how far is the shoal from the main sir? 124. No, from no, China. 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 Oh, I don't know. Maybe. Yes, sir. Can I have a question for the Secretary? 
Secretary, what will be an acceptable solution for the Philippine government? Uh, can they just go away and you know that the matter is resolved, or should we insist on arresting the Chinese mission because we try to get the I think that uh, we, we will be looking at all of these options. And as I said, uh, it would not be prudent or would it be constructive for me to discuss it with you. Uh, it's, uh, it's a, uh, it should be an internal discussion uh, between uh, the ambassador and myself. Can you tell us now what is the state of combat readiness of the Philippine Navy in view of this incident? My second question is, what will, how will the Philippine Navy respond if the Chinese uh, military starts sending additional military or armed ships to there? We are ready, but uh, I have no intentions of telegraphing our um, um, intentions uh, there. So what, what, uh, what will you do if additional ships you know, emerge from the horizon, Chinese ships? And this is basically an operational matter which uh, we, will, we will definitely um, follow whatever directives and guidances will be given from, from higher headquarters and the political leadership. Yes, uh, Jason from the French News Agency. Just to follow up to Jim's question, Secretary Dennis, um, you mentioned earlier that there are prepared to be more uh, um, ships to defend our sovereignty and that you're looking at various options. But um, I don't want to sound alarmist, but if they do send additional troops and they start um, using their guns and guns, if in case they're armed, well, what do we do then? Uh, I think that uh, I'm confident that it will not get to that point. Uh, we are, uh, we have a long-standing friendship with China. Uh, they are uh, uh, solid partners. Uh, we are uh, looking on the, on the prospects of a closer cooperation. And as evidenced by the state visit of uh, President Aquino to China, uh, there have been uh, uh, real commitments of uh, how to make the, the uh, cooperation uh, broader and deeper, how to make the friendship uh, uh, more uh, uh, actually closer and uh, as a matter of fact, uh, I'd like to bring up a point. In that uh, visit to China, uh, there was an initiative that was introduced, which is the Year of Friendly Exchanges. It's, a, uh, it's an initiative uh, that's intended to uh, highlight the importance of people-to-people -people, uh, relationships between the two countries. And uh, it's ironic that um, we did have uh, the Philippine launch a couple of weeks ago, and the Beijing launch is today. Uh, we have a, uh, a delegation of uh, members of the Philippine Congress who will be attending this launch uh, to be able to highlight the deep friendship and the uh, close cooperation between our two countries. So these are uh, just uh, a few examples of uh, why we need to solve this and why we will solve this diplomatically. Sir, how long are we prepared to dig in on this uh, um, standoff? Can you restate your question? <laughs> how long are we prepared to um, continue this standoff? We, we are trying, we're endeavoring to, uh, to arrive at a diplomatic solution as early as possible. Yes, sir, Melo. Yes, good afternoon, Secretary Melo Acuna from China Radio International. Have you already briefed President Aquino on the incident? And uh, have you received instructions from him? Thank you. Uh, yes, I have uh, briefed uh, the President as uh, as thoroughly as I can. And uh, so have uh, these uh, two distinguished gentlemen who are with me today. <laughs> and uh, we did have uh, and we did receive our instructions from the president and uh, the president is, is very clear that uh, he wants a diplomatic solution to be in place sir veronica we for interaction.com uh, you had a meeting with the chinese ambassador earlier were there any resolutions uh, specifically about uh, uh, the stand off commitments commitments <coughs> yes well, we, we, it was a very constructive meeting. Uh, we, we talked about uh, how to look for uh, other ways to uh, improve the relations. Uh, and we did uh, bow to one another that uh, we would continue working closely 
uh, until a uh, diplomatic uh, solution will have been found to this issue. And I think that resolve is true and strong, and uh, it will be done. Were the commitments not to increase uh, uh, presence, military presence from either side? I think both of us are, are aware that uh, we, we uh, in the spirit of uh, friendship and cooperation, uh, that uh, the tensions should not be increased, that we should work on, on uh, keeping tensions uh, down. Whether you wanted to ask me first, I was just wondering, Mr. Secretary, is the discussion, was there any commitment on the part of the, the ambassador that if they did withdraw the ship, are we going to withdraw the Delta Line on the shore? I think, I think there are many options uh, on the table, um, and I think uh, for each of you that I see here, you probably could contribute one option that I could use. But uh, rest assured that uh, we're trying to uh, collect as many of these options as possible. And we'd like to look at what's doable, what's fair, what's reasonable, what's working. Okay. Yes, it's one time. Are there any products that were confiscated? Are they with uh, our hospitals? Are there any products that were confiscated? It's still on board the fishing vessels. Um, the quantity is uh, quite sizable, as I said earlier. And um, they are on board the uh, Chinese fishing vessels uh, as well. Can you file charges against them for violating the maritime laws? And yet, can we confiscate them or use their mail while you're still confiscate? Or, how do you understand how that is? That's a matter for the um, our uh, law enforcement, maritime law enforcement uh, agencies are concerned. And we are in consultation so with the proper agencies. Uh, yeah, right now. Sir, sure, exactly, sir. Are you going to file charges to effect an arrest? Charges of uh, violating our. As, as I said, uh, we have been consultations with the uh, government agencies uh, mandated for that. Do you have a decision to file charges against them? We have not yet received uh, any any um, directive along those lines. As, uh, as uh, it's clearly that the, the Navy basically. Um, discovered these things, we, we did it uh, based on the rules of engagements, and subsequent actions to these things, we have been consulted with the proper government agencies mandated to do those tasks. Yeah, Roy, Sir, uh, Roy Mubasa from Bulletin. Just a clarification, uh, are we thinking of leaving the area or are we being prevented from leaving the place? <laughs> Sir, Secretary. Uh, I think... Uh, we are not being prevented from leaving the place. Uh, that's, uh, that is not a demand. But uh, we are hold, hold up in a place where we cannot go out, right? No, we're there because we're, we, we, uh, we have sovereignty over the area and we want to be there and we have the right to be there. Just one follow-up question. If I can just clarify the earlier question. The, um, the, I think it's not uh, very accurate to say that we are hold up in place. The Delta light now is outside the shore. And what is inside the lagoon of the shore are the eight uh, Chinese fishing vessels. That's what you want to clarify. Yeah, it's, it's quite a um, I, I have not made myself feel earlier. The Delta is outside. Nagpapantay po po sa labas. Sa iisang daanan mula sa loob. I grew up on Lucha Trinket's brother in New Zealand that you have one main ship and then you have two maritime ships being there at the same time but they can only have one protecting the Chinese uh, uh, fishermen. It's rather unusual that you think that they have two there and they have only one. Well, um, we, 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 I can say that, that it's not unusual that we have one ship um, going out there because um, the new uh, from the end, um, I think one of the things that we're also trying to uh, look right now is the um, the period of time that the, the two ships uh, appeared from the time the uh, inspection started, which is at 8 in the morning, and by 4 in the afternoon, those two uh, fishing, I'm sorry, those two um, CMS vessels uh, were already in place. Were they about to propose? No, uh, so far from the reports that we have gathered, there were no overt provocations that have been undertaken. Okay, last two questions. Uh, sir, um, uh, can we just clarify, sir? 
when you say eight mission vessels, originally there were eight, and then there were two that came. So you have a total of ten Chinese vessels in the that's correct. The eight fishing vessels are inside the lagoon. These are civilian fishing vessels. And the two uh, ships that came in, yung dalawang, the two pictures, the pictures that I showed, so that makes it 10. So yung two na sinasabi, kasi 12, 12 yung sinasabi ng China, and I don't know where that's going, what they refer to with that. With that we, we are checking on those two, but we, we, there is also a, a, a white boat in there that belongs to uh, that probably, um, a, um, what do you call this? A, um, there is one boat right now out there that's uh, conducting uh, a, a, um, a surveillance or something. It's a Philippine uh, registered uh, boat. It's a Philippine registered boat. It's a Philippine government boat. It's not the government boat. It's, it's a private boat. It's doing, Do you have a value as to how much exactly those things are there, the plans, the How much are those, what are those things, how much are they worth? Uh, we have not yet uh, gone to the extent of uh, putting a uh, costing or a value of those things because we have not even uh, had the time to really assess um, the quantity of the clams uh, and then the corals that have been there. We don't sell corals and clams here, so we don't know the prices. Just to, ask, just to ask a question, sir. When the boarding team left the fishing vessel, were they forced to do so? They were ordered to leave those fishing vessels and therefore were under uh, force? To no, leave. no. So they no. decided to do that? Oh. Yeah, they, they, our, our uh, boarding parties left the uh, fishing vessels, went back to their ship, to the Del Pilar, that is, was uh, outside the uh, lagoon. And there were also other instructions not to arrest the Chinese? There were no instructions not to arrest. There were no instructions. No instructions because um, they, they, they were still in the process of uh, doing accounting and the inspections. And then until... What is, what is the next step now? So you had the first meeting with the with the Chinese ambassador, what is the next step? And is there anything on the table, any proposal that is now being considered and being, you know, uh, the Chinese ambassador going to Beijing now and asking for instructions because we have a proposal on the table to find a resolve, to resolve this as quickly as possible? Well, I'm looking forward to uh, additional discussions this afternoon uh, with the uh, Chinese ambassador. And uh, <coughs> uh, we will continue to talk and to see how a closure to this issue can be moved forward. Can we get a follow-up? When, when the mm -hmm. statement of the Chinese embassy said that they also lodged a representation to the Department of Foreign Affairs, does that mean they also contested the incident? Uh, well, our, uh, our representative in, uh, in uh, Beijing was also someone, yes, and... Uh, I don't think a, uh, a uh, note verbal was presented to him, but uh, it's possible, uh, according to uh, our sources, that uh, we will also be receiving a note verbal in return. Uh, as I mentioned, we issued one to them when they came this morning. But is there a proposal that is now being considered by both sides? There, there is no, there is no such proposal on the table as yet. Uh, and we intend to discuss uh, various proposals uh, this afternoon. Okay, thank you very much uh, for coming and uh, for being active in this uh, press conference. Thank you and good afternoon.